Texas. The King Ben's finally here. Um, it's been too long. Yeah. So we are going to do the newlywed tag. The goal is 10 questions in five minutes. You think we could do it? Definitely. Let's kill this. Okay, question number one. When and where was your first kiss? All right, ladies first. Not good. Because um, I remember. Do it's, you it's, remember? It's right there. Where? You have to be specific. specific. <laughs> Our first kiss was um the same house that we're leaving right now. Just in the house? Like, that's uh, it? The, 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 the backyard. Oh, are you remember? <laughs> that I don't know. He's correct. I don't remember when, though. But when we first started dating. I don't know. What was your worst date with your spouse? I'll let you go first. My worst date? Mm -hmm. Probably our first date. Really? Yeah, when I got that flat time. Oh, yeah, you suffered a lot. Like that, 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 that was my, my first flat time. I only got, I got the best of it though, because I didn't have to deal with that portion of it. Yeah. Well, mine was when we got pulled over, because the cop thought I was a prostitute. The cop thought I was a prostitute. The cop thought I was a prostitute. Yeah. He was taking me home from our date. The cop pulled us over because it was late. And he was asking us questions about how we know each other, where we came from, asking us each other's birthdays on, on our um, licenses and things like that. And he told me straight up, he was like, to be honest, there has been a lot of prostitution in the area, so we needed to confirm whether or not you were a prostitute. So that ruined the whole night. Next question. What is the first thing your spouse would buy if they won the lottery? You? Yes. A uh, Tesla? I feel like yours would be more stocks. <laughs> When is your mother-in-law or father-in-law's birthday? Bonus points if you could do both. Um, your Can mom, I go first? Your okay, mom good. is March 29th. Uh -huh. I don't remember the year. Um, don't worry about the year, uh, just their birthday. Your dad is uh, December 24th. Oh, babe. <laughs> your mom is December 17th and your dad is August 9th. Kill it. What is your spouse's favorite junk food? You junk food? Yes, my favorite junk food. Uh, I would say Chinese food. Yeah. Because Chinese food is... Just... Yours is um chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Yours is chocolate chip cookies. Your second probably BK. Really? I feel like BK would be first, honestly. Because uh, uh, chocolate... chocolate chip cookies is just a snack. Yeah, but once, once they're in the house, which I just discovered, How'd you discover? One week. How, how did you discover it? I don't know, I just smelled it. <laughs> what is your spouse's most repeated sentence or phrase? You have a bunch. G? Oh. No, you're supposed to tell me mine. Oh, um, to, to be honest with you? You don't know? It's to be honest, right? Or I put money on the table? <laughs> yours is um yours is obviously yo g yo bruh and pilgaga <laughs> <laughs> what adjective best describes your spouse on your wedding day guy because i forgot all my adjectives emotional oh you are emotional because you started off mad as hell because we didn't start on time. I heard you snapping at people. Then um, you were extremely happy, then sad, then happy. Not happy, like sad, but like tears of joy type thing. But you were happy, then chill, then you was turned up at night. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Next one. Oh, can you describe my answer? Should I say it? Beautiful? Oh, I was so sweet. <laughs> Who is less likely to ask for directions when they're lost? People like, yo, gee, I got it. Just gotta find the main road and we good, bruh. Yeah, I, I, I always like to figure 
stuff out. I don't like stuff. that. I live on GPS, bro. I can't. Who says I'm sorry first after a fight? I think it's me. Uh, you think I'm, I'm the last one to say sorry? Yeah. Because I'm usually right. Who takes up more than half the bed? If you lie, Bernard, I'm gonna pour this water on you. I, I, I take all the bed. I, I take seven levels all the bed, but I sleep crazy. Like, it's like, it's, I don't know. You know how people will say that men are usually the ones who have like the little part of the bed and then women take up everything? It's the opposite for us. I'm the one falling off the bed and he just takes up everything. Granted, he's tall, but we have a king size bed, so there's no excuse. I don't he's know just, what. I just look like crazy and then I think my my nephew is gonna take my spot, right? Literally, the pillow will be under your head and somehow it ends up next to you. Like you hug your pillow like a person and you just end up all the way on my side. And like, you tell me you don't sleep on your back, but for some reason you always end up on your back. But when you're about to wake up, you end up back on your stomach. Like, no, no one people sleep like this and I sleep like this. Yeah, he's literally diagonal has to be diagonal but yeah that's all the questions and then my my little monster gonna take my spot your little monster yeah all right but this dude man i don't know yeah he seems crazy he seems crazy <laughs> a lot of kids sleep crazy but this dude bro i think that's a normal case bro <laughs> like no i think that he's a special case yep that was all the questions um yeah, I mean, as of right now, I'm drinking my little wine. Just yeah, I'm enjoying life. Water. Yeah, you, you, I mean, I, I, I don't really drink water like I, I'm supposed to. I don't know. Lately, things been a little bit crazy, but. <laughs> but um, with that being said, we ask that you like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so that you guys are notified when we post again. Without further ado. <laughs> This is the blood handshake. Blood handshake?